Hello, I am Dr. Mark DeBrinkett, and I am so excited to share something with you today relating to neurofeedback, which is the growing of new brain tissue, and balancing of brain dysregulation, and a company called Vox. Okay, these are neurotech socks that I was introduced to a few months ago, and I'll tell you, initially I was a little skeptical. They made some amazing claims that just putting a pair of socks on could actually change your life, but I have been playing with these and experimenting with several of my patients. Now, my background is I'm a chiropractor, but I specialize in brain and spinal injury. So I have technology called neurofeedback that allows us to actually stimulate the growth of new brain and spinal tissue. So um, I once was, was completely disabled living in a wheelchair and through several different technologies and products that were introduced to me along the way, I was able to actually get my life back. So my whole purpose is helping other people that have severe brain and spinal in injuries get their life back. Okay, and so when I was introduced to this company, I was um, really amazed at first, but I still had a lot of skepticism. Well, today, I am going to share with you something that has absolutely blown my mind. So we do what's called neuroplasticity, which is growing of new brain tissue. And in order to determine the amount of dysregulation, we do what's called a brain map. So we put a cap on the patient's head that will record 12 different spots, up to 60,000 neural synapses every hundredth of a second. So we can get a real good idea, neurologically, what's really going on with you, okay? And, and what we can do, what you're capable of doing, and really what you're not doing right now. So um, I've done thousands of maps over the years, and we have seen so many amazing miracles take place not only through neuroplasticity, but introducing different products and different technologies into the mix. For instance, the average brain core patient sees about uh, 10 to 25% overall success change within 10 hours of training. And we introduce other technologies and products into that mix, which gives us you know, 30 to 70% change in the same amount of time. And that's a lot more new tissue growth and a lot more new function that happens. So I have done a map on myself and then I did the socks. I put the socks on and then literally 30 seconds later, I did another map. Now, anytime you do a comparison from one map to the next and you didn't actually do any neurofeedback, uh, the changes are not permanent. They only last for a little bit of time, but I've seen some things that this time around that I have never seen before. So without further ado, I wanna go ahead and share my screen with you. And we are going to, oops, give me one second. Okay, we'll try that again. Let's go ahead and share the screen. So on the left is a map in which we um, had my eyes closed for six minutes. And then on the right is going to be eyes open. Now, typically, if I ever do a map 30 seconds after one another, there should be zero change. It should be an identical map. Um, there is a variance of about 2% that's still acceptable. Um, as far as an average means for how it would change when we looked at it. So, with putting these socks on, you can see we've seen some amazing changes. 34 and 48% change. I have yet to see anything create a 48% change just by putting a product on you or a nutrient or an essential oil or something of that nature. So let's take a look at exactly what changed. So there's four parts of the map that we look at. The first one is magnitude. This is what I had the capability of doing. We want to see everything on this map green. Okay, green is ideal. You got lots of reserve going in either direction. If it's yellow, it's very high. Red is high, yellow is very high. Light blue is low, dark blue is very low. So here's the thing. The dark blues are the things that we're much more concerned about because if you're not having the neurological function there, we don't know if you'll ever be able to wake it up. Now we have done lots of different things with essential oils, with ketones, with 
uh, microcirculation devices. And we've seen some significant change, even in the magnitude area. Um, however, I'm going to show you an area of the map that was changed that we never see changed by anything external except you, growing new brain tissue, turning the power back on. So we can see a little bit of the yellow here. This top row was the very first map. The second row is the exact same thing we looked at in the first map, but now we have the socks on my feet. And so we can see that the yellow here is calmed down. Anytime you see something with a glowing ring around it, consider that green, okay? It's still changing, but it's one fraction away from being green. Usually by the end of that day, it does turn green. So we saw some change there. Asymmetry is how well can we departmentalize what we're seeing here. So for the asymmetry, what we really want to be is everything inside this box that I'm drawing needs to be red first, and then it will all turn green. And so we have two of those, one on the right, one on the left. And so basically here, we wanted all this blue here to be gone. One of them was gone and turns green, and then three of these are already turning green. This is how well can you departmentalize your two right and left brain. Um, over here, four of these. Now, all blue on this side leads to depression. All blue on this side is pre-existing for anxiety. So four blues down to two, that's amazing. And then some of these already started turning green. So we've seen similar changes like this by doing different products and introducing them along the lines. But the next category here is called dominant frequency. Now this one, when I saw this, it absolutely thrilled me to death because I have never been able to use a product and then remap and within 30 seconds see changes in this category. Specifically, the delta and theta part of dominant frequency. This part here is the most important part on the entire map, and it's usually the last part of the map that ever turns green. Typically, you need new tissue growth in here to turn these green, or you need to just be able to turn on the circuit breaker like it's been tripped off. So we have yet to do anything that changes this. And so what our goal here is for every patient is to make sure that there is no blue whatsoever in this area of the map. And you can see from seven blue, just simply putting on these socks turned the entire thing green. This was phenomenal. I about did a backflip when I saw that because I have never seen anything change it so quickly. And then over here with eyes open, again, um, F3 changed, and we had a significant change across this sensory motor strip, all turning green. So we have now introduced this into our protocol, and every single brain core patient that we get from this moment forward is using these socks along with their training because it's just giving them that extra edge. It's immediately stimulating and activating brain stem and allowing your body to correct a lot of the things that are imbalanced in your brain and interfering with your able to live a healthy, normal life. The last category we looked at is called interconnectivity. How well can right and left brain connect together and turn green? So you can see here, we only had four, now we have 12. And so that is, again, significant change. This usually takes three weeks of neurofeedback to do that. Now granted, doing neurofeedback grows tissue there so it's changed permanently. Putting the socks on is only working while the socks are on. However, getting things balanced and bringing more symmetry, right and left brain, and connecting them well gives you all the better training uh, you know, along with it, but also gives you better balance, lateral stability, front to back stability. You know people that fall down a lot. That's a balance issue. It also incre increases range of motion. So it gives you more agility and more quicker reflexes. So Hopefully that was as exciting to you as it was to me because when I saw that changing the dominant frequency, the part that we never see change so quickly, I have absolutely sold out for these socks. And so I hope you try a pair soon. Get back to the person that sent you this video and tell them you're ready. So have a blessed day, everybody. This is Dr. Mark DeBrinkett, the good news doctor. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.